Hey everyone, Sweaty Zeus back again, uh, going, doing uh, a little more on our uh, playthrough here and walkthrough for Elden Ring. Sorry about that. Um, so, I was a little upset I didn't get it on video, but uh, after we left the um, Alber, Alberneric vi Village um, and we warped back to the Round Table Hold, uh, were immediately attacked, and I remember that happened. I couldn't remember when it happened, but um, it triggered, I guess, by when you pick them um, half of the medallion up and come back here. Uh, the skeleton dude that's like leaning against the wall here. When you come back, you and warp in. It's like a different world. Like when you, um, you know, go try to uh, uh, use one of the fingers to. Um, invade someone's world and uh, he's not too difficult so don't worry about it but then um, once you kill him and come over here you'll be able to pick up his armor uh, royal remains helm royal remains armor gauntlets and greaves and it's not a bad looking set really I don't think it offers uh, better protection as well I think so Actually, right now, it's the strongest armor we have. So, I'm not really a fan of the skeleton head, especially with a ponytail. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Could do this. It looks pretty cool, especially with the... Uh, Wonder if you could throw on some. Yeah, not as cool. We'll stick with that because it's got the best uh, negation so far. Wonder if we. Yeah, that'll put us heavy. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make note of that, like I said. I don't think we have any other bell bearings yet to turn in. We can pick up these rune arcs, uh, whatever you want. So uh, be sure here to come and get those if you want them. Um, and then those will uh, allow you to use the great runes. Um, I was thinking about getting this armor set, but I'll, I think I'll wait because we're so close to a level. should have enough now. You may hear my dog in the background. She's acting silly right now. Rolling on the bed on her back and I think trying to get my attention. Alright, so mind. While our great room's activated, we actually have enough now, 106, to use any of our summons. Uh, we could do endurance to change our armor. I think I'm going to keep going strength just so I can use um, this uh, Godric's Great Axe. Axe of Godric. If we two hand, we should have enough now uh, when the rune's activated because we are at 32. Yeah, we only need 34 total. So two more in strength, and we can actually ah, you again, is it? one hand it. Can you believe they invited me to? Can scarcely believe it myself. You might be surprised to lend Aeonia to us. It's on Mount Gat. That's where they hide. Just you wait. You'll rue the tale of how. It's that's where they just you wait. The tale of how. So that's the guy that we ran into in Lyernia. I was telling you, you can kill him if you want to get his uh, mask. Now there's an invader down here. We I don't think we've done it yet. So if you're feeling ready, you can take him on. He's got a lot of uh, cold infliction and blood loss, so it's pretty tough, if you, especially if you haven't leveled your uh, vigor. I thought we'd already beat him, but no, we haven't. He'll evade right in front of the door, so sometimes you can get a backstab or at least a, you know, like a heavy attack. He 
you there. <laughs> we almost got inflicted. If you get frost uh, proc'd on you, just so you know, it um, causes you to take 20% more damage. So try to avoid it if you can. The stagger on this thing is unreal. <laughs> you get no shot once we started laying in blows, but... It'll give you the uh, Tauner's Tongue, which I think, like, uh, is used to, like, bring invasions to you in multiplayer. And then over here is the Cypher Pata, which is a uh, faith weapon, if you want to use that. It's basically, like, almost like a lightsaber type invisible thing, and it uh, comes out of your hand, and you can dual wield it. So, if that sounds interesting. The cool thing is it has no weight. So, if you want to use it like as a backup, it'll work pretty well. It's got like a two-handed move set. Or, you know, you can one-hand it, too, if you want to use something in your other hand. But it goes through shields, which makes it pretty cool. Alright, so that was pretty much everything we needed. I'll go see if we have any upgrades available. This will take you back upstairs. I think our dude is nice still alive. Ah, you can talk to him about D, their old friends, starting to be at odds, I guess. You can learn, learn some of his skills if you want to pick up any of those Ashes of War. We'll go over this way. Not in there. I don't think we've got any more. So we can upgrade uh, Latina. Well, I'll sell a couple things so we can afford it. I've got a few runes actually. Greetings, are you here for some? Enough for another. Back already, no matter. <laughs> Don't ever use those. Barely use those. Won't use that. I kind of use those sometimes. I don't know that I need 30 of them. I don't use those. These uh, heal your um, summons and your people that are helping you in uh, any time you've got more people in your party. Greetings, you have Twenty nine. I wish um, the twin husks were over on this side, because when you're uh, trying to buy upgrade materials, it's like, and you try to figure out how many you need, you gotta like run back and forth and back and forth, so it uh, it gets a little annoying sometimes. I'm just looking for duplicates of equipment that we have. Those I just won't ever wear, so.
Those are different. I thought they'd be the same. Also, get rid of the, uh, well, I may not. I don't know. I may use a great bow later if we find one. Probably some duplicate weapons. But I'm only, if you have duplicate weapons, just remember, like, you may want to dual wield. So, like, if there's any that, um, you might possibly ever want to dual wield, you might not want to sell one. So that's one thing I remember I would forget about. And they'd be like, oh yeah, like, I may want to duel that, dual wield that eventually, but. I should have enough now. Latina's uh, does a lot of damage, but she's kind of weak, like, as far as her health. So she's kind of like more of a. Uh, Class cannon almost, as, as people say. So, that's why I'm wanting to upgrade her. Uh, just because, like, if you, um, if you don't, she doesn't, she doesn't <laughs> last too long in battle. So, I'm going to use this axe some too, so I'm leveling that also. And... I'm trying to decide between these two axes. I kind of like the, the really big one, but this one works well with the shield. And um, then also don't forget to upgrade a strike weapon. I'm just using the brick hammer and I infuse it with cold. So that's going to be the one I'm going to be using. Alright, so we're going to head back to Liernia. I'm kind of starting to knock down a lot of this area. I think the next thing to do would be head down here. We've got a couple caves we need to hit and stuff. They're, they're, they're going to be pretty easy now uh, because this is stuff that was like, I don't know, probably like more appropriate for your level when you first get to Liernia. Which should feel pretty easy at this point. So there's a scroll up there on that. Like right here. If you didn't come here with us earlier. If you're a mage, you'll definitely want to grab that. Have we done this? I'm pretty sure we've already come in here and picked all this up. Sorry, I'm sniffling. Uh, tried to take allergy medicine, but it's not not getting the job done. There should be an item in here on a corpse. Figured I'd see the corpse at least there. Smoking butterfly. I'm sure we've got plenty of those. Forget your uh, merchants down here. I don't think he has any rune arcs or anything. Ah, no. The main thing is just getting his upgrade mats and the um, cookbook. So now we're gonna. That's the way we came from. We're gonna hug the uh, shoreline, but not go up the uh, path. So just stick down on the lower area. There might be some um, some of the lobsters down here, so just be careful. Here's our cave right there. I don't know if I've ever been up here.
think this just passed around to the other side of the lake. There's a spirit spring that'll take us up, up the plateau. I'm gonna ride down here and uh, get our cave first. I've noticed the jellyfish seem to always lead to a cave, it seems like. Still water cave. are uh, definitely good for the um, the plant enemies. I thought I took him out. There we go. I want to uh, craft some of those if you don't have any. To the ones that he'll poison. The, the green what they're called like bull bulls or something i don't know how to pronounce it but the green one there's one of the more powerful uh bats here to be cautious of her. She does a lot of damage. One thing I've seen, uh, and I've got to give credit for, fighting Cowboy again. He does really good walkthrough videos, but um, in these areas like this where you walk really slow, if you just turn around and back step, it's the fastest way to move through the, uh, you know, the deep pools. Like, uh, there'll be some of lava, some of, like, poison water. Uh, but any time you have to wade through one instead of just... Because you can roll, too. It'll make you fat roll, which is slow, which is usually your best bet. But the, um, the faster way to get through is on the uh, back step. So I'm going to throw on this for now and then fire grease because of this sword we can actually um, coat it there we go 
go. Be sure to take these guys out first. Can stagger him. What what he just did there uh, wasn't a stagger; it was an attack where he kind of falls over. He'll like swing his butt or his head, whatever you want to call it, down on you. We've got so much more FP now uh, from the Godric rune and the points we've invested. It makes it so much nicer because you can um, use your Ashes of War and your, you know, summons or whatever it be so much more liberally. Otherwise, you got to really conserve. Once you hit, um, like I said, I think 20 points in it, then it really starts uh, making a bigger and bigger difference. There we go. Trying to get out of the poison. I forget to keep using uh, flame grant me strength, so don't forget that you got it. And we do have um, beast sling, beast shield sling as well. So don't forget to use that if you want. It does pretty good damage up close. You don't have to kill these guys, I'm just doing it so we can run back in here and grab all the items. I don't think there's anything super important, but... Okay, so we could have just kept running through here. I thought it was a split... Split area from the one we were in prior. Nice. Damn, I thought we were going to get out of the poison in time. There's the boss door. I was hoping we could use Latina with us on this one, but... Not going to happen.
There we go. We get the Wing Sword Insignia, which um, increases your damage if you do multiple hits for every hit. I was thinking there was a grace here, but was there not? Yeah. It was just down a little ways. See if we can do our uh, National War. <laughs> That's kind of fun. It's a little hard to get off, but it, it does do a lot of damage. It's another troll down here. Looks like he got unhooked from his carriage. taken down we can go down here and pick up our weapon which is going to be a nice weapon for anyone doing faith and dex it's a gigantic spear i used it some when i played through and really liked it i remember there being something down here i thought that might have been one of those pre patch things that got moved. Because if you look on the guy, it's not showing anything here now, but I could have swore there was some sort of talisman down here. I think it's just the tree spear now. Alright. See, so we'll go up this way. There's a, ruin, a few ruins down here.
I was curious if there was a way to get down there from up here. Because there, there's like a little um, cliffside edge down there. Um, and I think you got to go a little ways forward to get down there. There's some spots to drop down on the like the tombstone ledge things. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, those militia men down there too. There's a false floor. Make sure we got everything knocked out first. Keep doing that. Nothing in here, anybody. Just two fingers heirloom, which raises your um, your faith by five points. All right, we gotta find the lady that likes the grapes. Pretty sure she's at one of these ruins over here. Up against this um the shoreline right here. Whoa.
Be sure when you hop on your horse you're two-handing because you, you can't do anything about it once you're on. If you're accidentally one-handing you're not going to do any damage. Another teleporter. Once we get a grace, we'll see where it goes. I think that's the one we came from. I thought the grape chick was like right around here. Just for a um, tip too, anytime there's a false floor, if you roll over it, it'll um, show it and open it. There's several that are disguised, especially in uh, Liernia. takes us to the town again. <laughs> We're like right here. Uh, we can work down here. I'm just gonna work back where we were. all the arrows <laughs> there's one hanging out of my head
I'm gonna go back to the Golden Halberd just for a little bit. I like it a lot better on horseback. Yep, I knew that was going to kill me. I jumped and then saw, oh, it's a little farther down than I thought. That's the path down, though. All right. I had to go get something to drink. There we are. We're down at the lower level now. Watch out for the uh, Fulgrim Militia guys. They're a lot weaker here than they are um, in the Beast Sanctum. But with their bleed, you still want to be careful because there's a lot of them down here. I usually just kind of spam uh, L3 just to make sure. It'll pick them up. Somber too at this point. It's not really all that impressive, but we'll take it. The door's kind of well hidden too. I think it's up. There it is. It's uh, up uh, against the cliff, but it's behind some of the uh, those rocks that jut up, so it's easy to easy to miss. Cliff bottom catacomb.
couldn't remember if this one was the one that had the uh, lower level under the elevator. A couple of them do. Oh shit, we're overweight. How are we over... Oh, the rune arc. I forgot. That's the one thing I hate about them when you die. You, like, you forget if you had one active or not. That'll do it. Can't remember if this is the one that kind of like it's got several levels that look the same and there's like slight differences and uh, you gotta like keep going what looks like through the same area over and over but you're actually not. Perhaps we haven't gotten one of their helmets yet either, because you can get those, and they're pretty good. Damn, I was hoping for a two. We still need a, or I mean a three. We still need a three. How did that miss? These are good to step on if there's a enemy in between you. I thought there's a big guy. He's further up, maybe. That's him there. Nice, finally got one.
Got the scythe. Pretty cool weapon. Wait, are you supposed to drop down here? I can't remember. I think so. Are you been this way? I can't remember. Whatever the puzzle or path through this is. <sighs> I think maybe you drop all the way down. Yeah, that's what you do. You can get their stupid looking axe if you want. It's like all bent. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's good, but I don't know. It just looks kind of funny. That's the one I was thinking of that you could hit with the arrows at the beginning. Um, and just for like lore purposes, uh, those things, the big ones like we just killed, are like cousins of Margit. If you look at them closely, they have uh, like the horns, but they're shaved off. See, like, on his shoulder, there's a bunch of them. On his back. Kind of looks like him in the face, too, but... These guys are obviously, uh, fatter than Margit, but... And then Margit's actually got a brother who we'll run into later in the game. Which is a very big surprise when it happens. Really cool boss, one of the coolest ones. Alright, so we got the lever, we're ready to go back to the beginning. I think this is the path. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go back and um... Use the uh, grace real quick. Just oh shit! I gotta go back up the elevator. But I want to use the grace because we're out of FP, and um, I'd like to use the Latina summon now and see how it see how it does. 
we've got a few uh, grave glove warts so we can upgrade our uh, demi humans and wolves another another level when we are ready didn't realize though but we are out of time on this one so we're not going to have the chance to fight the boss we'll have to do it at the start of the next one I've only got like less than a minute left so I'll go ahead and end this and catch you guys in the next one